Today I will talk about um, serial correlation in panel data. I will first discuss uh, what is the issue and then um, how to fix it um, using the Nui West estimator. Now first of all, what's the problem here? Um, based on our assumptions, we would expect that the error term in our panel data model um, is IID distributed, which means um, identically independently distributed. So put differently, there is no relationship between uh, the past error term and the current error term. So this um, independence is very often violated. In, in particular, when we work with firm level data, it's quite likely that there are some hidden factors that might drive um, a certain outcome. You call this also path dependency. So for instance, in our example, which we used in previous lectures, um, exploring firm profitability, it's quite likely that a firm with good performance in the past maintains good performance going forward. So there's a tendency to stick to a certain level of performance. Now, how can we detect a serial correlation? We can use um, ready-made um, um, packages in Starter, XT um, Serial. You just have to look for it in, in Starter using the help function. And if you haven't installed it yet, just install it. Or we run through this using um, our own uh, regression models and using so-called um, auxiliary regressions, which is exactly replicating um, the test procedure. Now this test is based on Wooldridge. Um, we first run um, the same regression in first differences. These first differences um, remove um, the, um, the fixed effects by default. If you take the equation yt and you subtract yt minus 1, these fixed effects um, simply cancel out. You use then the cluster option, which means we permit that there is a degree of relationship between um, residuals within a cluster. So you permit um, correlations, you permit um, heteroscedasticity. You save the residual and then you run um, a regression on the residuals using the lacked residual um, as an independent or predetermined variable. And then you check whether the coefficient is close to minus 0.5. In this case, there is no zero correlation, otherwise there is. In terms of how to fix it, um, there are different avenues to try. One avenue is to focus on robust estimation of your covariance matrix because um, a consequence of serial correlation is um, that your um, estimated p-values are off, they're not precise. So one way to address this is to go into the so-called Nui West estimator. Um, and um, in Starter, you find uh, the Nui West estimator um, under Nui, and there's a new version called Nui 2, which also runs with panel data. You might need to specify the force option if you have some missing values, for instance. Now, the Nui West estimator would address the covariance matrix estimation, so it would, would result in p-values which are not affected by either heteroscedasticity or serial correlation, which you also call um, um, autocorrelation um, in, in this context. The alternative route is then to go into so-called dynamic panel data estimation, um, and there is quite um, a, a bunch of methods out there. I think the most, um, the most famous one is the Arellano-Bond or Arellano-Bova approach using um, GMM estimation. If you want to explore this further, just leave a comment below. I'm happy to do um, some more videos on dynamic panel data estimation. Good, so now we know the theory. Let's get our hands dirty and move into starter and just do it. So first of all, I'm lazy, as you know, so I just copy-paste. I open the starter do file, um, and we just start from our previous work. Um, if you missed that, um, go back to these videos. I just check whether this is our preferred model. I think it is. So that's our standard fixed effects model, so that's fine. We then um, run the first difference in regression, um, and we use the cluster option on our cross-sectional unit, which is code. We um, save our residuals, we run um, an auxiliary regression on our residuals using the lag operator 
to go into the lagged residual and then we test whether this coefficient is equal to minus 0 0.5. If we can reject the null hypothesis, we know um, serial correlation is present. So that's the principle. Again, we note that uh, the first difference will remove any fixed effects. That's the, that's the idea behind it. Okay, let's run this um, and see what happens. This is our auxiliary regression. Now, based on this um, um, coefficient, you see this is quite far off the minus um, 0.5. Um, and um, hence, um, as you can see below, we can reject the null um, um, at um, the, certainly the 95% level of confidence because the p-value is significantly low. It's um, below 0.05, also below 0.01 and so on. Yeah? So it's very, very clear that um, serial correlation is present. Of course, now you can ask yourself, why is it um, minus um, 0.5? Um, this can be um, derived, um, but I don't really want to do this, except you, you want, just leave a comment below. Good, um, so that is um, the test. And now what to do? Um, so as we discussed before, one option is to go down the Nui West um, route. So Nui 2 is available. If you don't have it, you can easily install that. Just um, if, you, if you go into the help function, you press the install a button and it will install. Um, NUI2 would um, exactly um, consider um, the presence of um, serial correlation and also even heteroscedasticity and it would address this um, in a robust um, estimation of the covariance matrix. There are alternatives as I discussed before so you can go um, down the route of, um, of um, dynamic panel data estimator so XTA bond I think there's also a two out there um, is um, another way um, to address this um, where you explicitly um, model um, the uh, lacked dependent variable as one of the predetermined variables. Again, if you need some further guidance, please leave a comment below. Good, I see you in the next.